and welcome you're watching Don Bosco Media Network. This is Morali Sarumbai, bringing to you the news and events from Megalia. Here are the headlines for today. Southwest Kasi Hills District Officers Club organizes cleaning drive for plastic-free environment. Tragedy strikes South Garo Hills. Teenage couple found dead in suspected suicide. Nyautrap Youth Council urges DC to relocate soldiers from KGP school in Nongstan. And Megalia College Teachers Association advocates holistic education at 35th Biennial Conference. And now the news in detail. On April 26th, the Officers Club of Southwest Kasi Hills District orchestrated a sweeping cleaning campaign aimed at transforming Southwest Kasi Hills into plastic-free zones to safeguard the environment. Commencing from the Block Development Officer's Office in Maokarwat CNRD Block and culminating at the Superintendent of Fisheries Office, the drive drew over 300 participants, including government dignitaries. T. Lengwa, the District Commissioner, helmed the program, emphasizing the crucial need for community members to uphold cleanliness and data littering for a sustainable environment. The robust turnout and unfelt efforts underscored a resolute commitment to environmental preservation within Southwest Kasi Hills District. Program mandas ni kade halor dengan tu bah clean my clean city tu bah launch daga sekarang ni kade ya atau ka jitu jengka kalau ngobangin pen maintain ya kacung koi musuba jang kisang kitau jang ta ban maintain ban penne pensa ya kemarang kiki jitu kiki yang kisi kade kata ka kacung ka ka moto nane ka Objektif juga ni kan, jenia cleaning drive. Jadi ni cleaning drive mana sih? Kamat tangban sih orang belum begitu dia. Nere kalau dia ru ka message ka bangin peni ya kibriu, wa nere ban sih ya berat kumar berat kumur dia kinyut kinyer cer surok senji senjian. Kinyut kinyer ke bangin dia ban berat, ni dia ban belum top. Kecaka kepada di Bandung. Di antara di kecaka Melayu akan kecaka kepada Labu Lamang Bandret. Ini Bandret lagi. Di Hangta Laban Bandret ini. Mereka masih berat pasar. Saya dan Tisha sedikit. Di hari ni kah hari ni kah jeng ye le cleaning trip ini. Ia ada divide ini ke zone berfair fair. Bagi ke yang ini lah organise dah kau besar sekolah yang besar di sekolah ini distrik. Ini dan kumpal lain sepanut di bayi cipta akan kita training drive. Ini ni lah divide lagi jangkau jangkau zon. Nampak ada film yang ikut lagi bagi participants lagi bayi cipta hanya boleh ini kacau. Kalau kini kita tangkap way lagi zon. Di mana tu nak dengar apa block office kat tuh bayu area. Ada orang cerita siapa like. Lai Lau Sang ni lah ya divide dari grup, bagi ni lah ya pendek dari ni, macam ya macam tijungi, bagi hal juga kor ni lah ni rum, ni kita kini ya tam, ni kita kini ibu dan haki ibu solo. Kini kacau penolong tinggi kini kacau cleaning drive, kacau Aiman Sim, kacau Aiman Sim, bagi kapan kerja uru ya kijing macam berkat jang kini langsung senang. Siapa yang kencing dan kam banyak kuih. Nama apa pihak yang nanti yang sekian nara kalau ngabuk kuih bos bawa kalau air buka kuih. Di Sultanat ban ya kejar ruh Sultanat. Mereka dah kejawab ini ya kejar ruh. Jadi 
Sosalia. Tiga message ke jika ke kubur saya kena ucap senang kalau ban 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 sumar begini ginjut ban 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 lum lagi jika si jika bak salit bread lagi tu jika di balabu. Jadi kata kalau ke kubur saya di nongsam senang jangan ke tahi makurat ini baru saya baru hari kita di bayar semua jangan ke jangan ke jin keran hanya kubur bangin maintain bangin penin sumar kuat. South Garo Hills District mourns the loss of two teenagers identified as Medanchi C.H. Marak and Nikera D. Sangma, discovered hanging from a tree in Rongdengri village of Chokpot. Both 17 years old, they had been in a relationship since last December. The circumstances surrounding their tragic deaths, occurring around 3.30 p.m., remain shrouded in mystery. Authorities have launched an investigation with the body sent for inquest and post-mortem. This devastating incident underscores the urgent need for enhanced mental health support and counselling services in the region as teenage suicides continue to plague Garo Hills and the wider northeast. The Hnyautrap Youth Council HYC of West Kasi Hills, led by President Lumlang Kars Emli, Alongside leaders from the HYC Nongstan and Lai Lingdo Circle, convened with DC Garrett LSN Dykes on April 26. Their discussion centered on expediting the construction of a new bridge in Kenro and addressing the presence of soldiers at KGP Higher Secondary School, Te Sao Nongstan. Following the meeting, the HYC president expressed the organization's plea for the company to accelerate bridge construction and urged the DC to relocate soldiers from KGP school to alternative government accommodations to mitigate disruptions to students. Approximately 90 soldiers had stationed there prior to the state election. Bersyong bahasa Bian atau kerja, buat kakun ke jing sultu ke jongi tani kerja ke hak pokok silong kantin menbut. Ia dia yang kata ngila wan mendarasi wan kendu yau tiu tempat silong kantin menbut ringkat ke jing kok. Bandawa nak ke silong kantin menbut bahkan di ban weng cisendon ni kini gibrio nak ni kerja. Nama arba kat kumgeding sultu ke jongi kat kumgeding tip ke jongi kini gibrio kila syusa Bian atau kerja. Kerem kendu kendu ke jing obor nak ke silong kantin menbut. Di hadian mengilawan banyak kendo yau tio, okay kebana kalian kerja u lapan sya kalong ba hapok kesilong kantin menbuat kidan arlay tili kui pak tibor tibo pet ya ki lengkot jaka. Hot kah hapok kesilong kantin menbuat mereka don kerja kah kabo pet diki army kerja don kerja kah kabo pet jaka defence estate officer jom jaka diu. But kata kerja defence estate officer confess kerja u kerja don hapok gua hati. Di ulapan tip ru yangi habai day bagani kerja kah u defence kerja defence estate officer kidan Apabila yang kerjanya le, ya kerja kias nak bantah ban B, kita kibrio nak kerja. Tapi ban tip kampanya, ya kata, orang bangi hap ban let dan dia bani kendo, ya ke DU office ke bawah nak buat hati. Jadi nak kalian jangan kesen, kenang bahkan long official kerja yang thok kerja ni, ya kerja bangi ni thok nak kalian kerja ni mentera kesinya buat silong kantin membuat ni la orang ya kerja yau tio buat dia ban penpai yang ni dah kerja thok. Kenang bangi nak kalian kerja ni kan long official berkumpul juru bangin sotu, ya kerja kesin jam ke bawah nang ni sekmat pat ke bangin sim. Di kata kalau ngaji yang keren, kau mengi sotu ini mentah kalau bayar ni kerja kah? Kau kaplot kadai kau bapet jaga defence estate officer, ya kau bawa office kau dona pok gohati, bat kau bawa kalau bawa kau dona ngaji yang lekis. Apa yang kau defence estate officer bat kiwe pat kibriu ya kau bawa nak kau yang jong jong kau defence estate officer kila aikis ban penmi no ikut kibriu nak kerja kah? Eh, tik kat kum ngaji orang ngaji u, orang bawa umtip dia kau status jong kau terkis, hae layak kumlu kaya. Tiap banyak tip kami saya kata. Nah kalian juga saya hadir bangi layu, ya kerja bab na UCO jangka SMB, jangka silong kantin membuat, ingin selit pat ban ya kendo ya kibor kibade pet ya tu kerja kah. Tapi kata kerja kerja kendo kerja ni. Mar bah kumangi ong bah, jeng syakat kum kerja tip kerja ni kadai kerja kah kah bahap silong kantin membuat. Ingin tip bagi dan sekiwe pat kibor kibade pet ya kisleng kot kerja kah. Tapi kenang bani ya syak ya kerja tu kumangi ni ayah kah kantin membuat, kah kantin membuat kan reply yang ni 
haeng ide bendai na mangin yo ya kanjing syat ingin ap reply ke beyo na pok kantinan buat hadin ke sang selit ban kendu yo tau di u lau dan the megalia college teachers association mcta convened its 35th biennial general conference at shillong college where professor alisha gatpo vice chancellor of ikfai university megalia emphasized the imperative for educators to address societal demands in higher education Professor Gatpo underscored the National Education Policy NEP 2020's goal of holistic education, emphasizing continuous assessment over degree attainment. Acknowledging challenges, she stressed the need for stakeholder collaboration in NEP implementation. She highlighted multiple assessment dimensions, including by parents, self, students and classmates beyond teacher evaluation. MCTA President Dr. B.H. Buam delivered a presidential address joined by Professor Ayon Bhattacharji, NIT Dean and Joseph Somi, IGNU Regional Director. The event witnessed the felicitation of retired teachers and the presence of principals, former office bearers and members from various MCTA units emphasizing collective collective support for navigating educational shifts. Except that there was something, while listening to her, something came to my mind, a thought came in. Let's see the light in each other, and let's see the light for, to one, for one another. Because the NEP 2020, which is actually the, the talks among the academicians, Wherever we go, it's always in quotes I can say NEP, NEP. I'm telling you, whether we go for the conferences of teachers or whether conferences of vice chancellors, the core topic is NEP. And it becomes, you know, ingrained in us, particularly as one who has the, the educational institution, we have to read it from cover to cover. Now, listening to every to the presidential address, as I've said, let's see the light in each other, and let's be the light for one another. Why I'm saying this? Yes, there are differences. Yes, there are criticisms. But these should not be the hurdles. We should overcome it. Constructive criticisms is the best way forward. We should try not to be opinionated, self-opinionated. Because if we are, we'll never be able to see the views of the others. And we'll never, there will never be a meeting point. We need to be, to see the light in each other. That means each and every one is irrespective of all the stakeholders, they all have their views and opinions and these should be taken on board. And a cohesion of these, corrective measures be taken, will help us to move forward. In numerous speeches as a vice chancellor. So thank you MCTA for breaking grounds for me to be, a, to be on stage to speak publicly to other time to my own teachers as well as my colleagues. A somber atmosphere enveloped Nongstoin as authorities retrieved the lifeless body of Morris Karbani from the Wariat River. The resident of New Nongstoin is suspected to have drowned in the river with eyewitnesses recounting the harrowing events. In broad daylight, onlookers observed Karbani near the river moments before he appeared to struggle and signal for help. Despite swift intervention attempts by bystanders, Karbani vanished beneath the river's surface before rescue efforts could reach him. The community mourns this tragic loss as authorities continue their investigation into the circumstances surrounding the incident. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Until we meet again, thank you for watching.